All right, we're back. It's another episode of O Ship. O Ship. O yeah. Ship. I think this is going to be an extra special O Ship episode, though, because we're going to share our favorite O Ship or moments. not so favorite O Ship moments. I don't know why I'm choosing to relive some of them on camera, but this is where we are. <laughs> so what was your worst oh ship moment? Oh, I can tell you one, this will always, always stick with me. I think it's been enough years now that there's probably no legal jeopardy, so I can mention at least on camera, so that's good. Uh, we'll put a disclaimer at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Freddy's uh, in prison next week. <laughs> one of my favorite oh ship memory moments was in the mid 2000s, I had this uh, advertising agency called IQ Million Group, and we were doing a diamondisforever.com for De Beers and for JWT's New York office. And right in the middle of us building this website, a hurricane rolls into Miami, rolls into South Florida. Um, and not only did it roll into South Florida, but it managed to take out power for I think close to seven days. So, uh, you know, JWT, is, we had a great relationship with them and they called us up and said, God, you guys okay? Everyone's safe? We're like, great, everyone's great. That's like, great, we love you guys. But we just want you to know that we, you know, we've got about $75 million worth of advertising running uh, uh, when that site comes out and, um, and we need it in, you know, in time for, for the holiday season. And if you don't get it done, we're going to be forced to sue you into oblivion. Right. <laughs> that nice. Uh, yeah, we're making friends every day. Uh, so, we basically found one person, one person we knew had power, and we managed to get the whole company over to this one person's house. But then we had a bigger problem. There was no gasoline. People forget that you need power to pump gasoline, so no one could put gasoline in their cars. So all of a sudden, people started running out of fuel and couldn't make it over to this person's house, which we basically moved into his living room, who he lived with his parents, mind you, and his grandmother. So we had like the whole family affair in this place. All, all everyone had dragged their computers over. No, it was before, we, no one was really into laptops. I think we had about 14 developers over there. And um, <laughs> we were sitting in this guy's living room, and I had a very important job. My job was, I was the world's most overqualified gas delivery guy, and I would basically get into, uh, get in my car, and uh, get in line, and I'd ha I had a laptop, and I'd connect to a hotspot, and I would work while sitting in a line, which took about three and a half hours each time. They'd only give you two little drums of gas, because they were running out of gasoline, and I'd run back to the house, give everyone like three gallons, and then maybe two gallons, and I'd run back and refill my car. Um, and then do it again. So I, do, I could pull off about three gas runs a day. But, uh, but what surprises me here is you still had Wi-Fi. <laughs> uh, wasn't Wi-Fi. I had a really, really bad uh, hotspot oh, connection. Oh, you were doing GSM. Yeah. So I could do like I could do the those, you know the emails. That would be back in the kind of uh, 52 kilobyte. <laughs> You're trying to be a T-Rex. Yeah, maybe. Well, we had the. First of all, I don't think any moment is an O-ship moment as long as you learn something from it. I right? agree with that. That is, yeah. that is the key. I mean, you know, I have had many failures in my life, but I didn't consider them failures because I, I learned something every time. But I, the, the biggest failure I had was, was my first ever big business. You know, I, I was running a small business out of my bedroom and these VCs turned up and offered me millions and millions, $33 million to develop what was back then the first e-commerce search engine. And uh, one of the, the crazy things that most people don't know about this story is that originally when we did this deal for $33 million, uh, I was supposed to get 51% of the company. And we did the, the paperwork and we did all the legal. I'm surprised and, to give anyone so young that much control, by the well, way. The, well, they didn't, <laughs> this is the thing, this is the thing. But the, the, what they did was right at the last moment, and I'll never forget this, it was the day we were supposed to sign. And we had, uh, you know, the, the documents, 500 pages of legals, crazy amount of legals. And they said to me, right, we've decided to do the deal, but we're gonna give you 49%. 
instead of 51 and we're taking control, take it or leave it. And it was a really, really hard decision to make. Mm. Like, I remember walking around like almost in a daze, like shit, mm. you know, what should I do? And how old were you again when this was happening? Uh, 16, right. 16. Because uh, I, I think I signed the deal when I was 17. This is like, I think this is like it's July, August. And, um, most so, people are worried about getting their driver's licenses. <laughs> well, indeed, I, you know, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people had more fun than I was having at that age. Um, and so I did it because, you know, it was the biggest opportunity I'd ever come across. And then I'll never forget, like the day after, like the management team sat me down and said, um, basically, we're going to take you out of the business. We're going to wrap you up in cotton wool and bring you out uh, when the when the TV cameras weren't you and I was like this is crazy this is you know this is my idea I know how to develop it anyway long story short they spent two million dollars and about a year and a half to come back to exactly the same proposal that I was gonna do at the start and so you know there's these moments in your life where you're just like you know the, they, they change the direction of your life and it you know sometimes you get it right and sometimes you don't and you know I've had probably two or three big cycles where I've been up and down, but mm. I wouldn't change any of it. It's, mm. you know, I've definitely learned more from the down times than the up times, and the down times make you realize how good the up times are.